The twos, uh, just like the the one litter and uh, those that'll follow, are also sired by 17-1. Again, he's a mama tried son back out of uh, out of his grandmother, the the OTL sow that's been such a foundation for our Berkshire program of late. 17-1 uh, on the top side here. Bottom side is 100-6, and she's a House of Cards daughter. Uh, we've got a pair of these 100 litter sows, and they're very visually impressive. Uh, they're moderate. They're very stout, uh, very square. Uh, I mean, they look like they could be show gilts today uh, in the sow lot. And uh, this one's at 100-6 and, again, 17-1 on the top side. Good stuff here in 2-3. Again, um, talk about trying to find the happy medium on making Berkshires um, dense enough and sharp enough, um, but still actually making them um, where they can feed and perform and have enough width and just muscle to go ahead and do that. And I think this one's right in that sweet spot. Um, he's heavy boned. <clears throat> Excuse me. He's got a stout head, but yet really clean pull and really clean throat. His, his early muscle shape in terms of his top line um, reads very, very good for this breed. Um, I love how square and true he is to his edges. His body in terms of his maturity pattern reads right. Drives at you incredibly powerful and opened up in his chest and sternum and um, all that stuff gives you pretty big, pretty good indicators that this one's going to be a stout, stout rascal in terms of, in terms of his back, in terms of his body. And he leaves you with that same image as well. And at the same time, he's got just enough of an exotic look and presence up front to go ahead and carry that weight. Man, this one looks like he's going to be a hammer as a finished product as a big one there. Fun stuff in 2-3.